Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. Today we start the dark story. Intruder alert. alert. Intruder, Intruder alert. alert. Security, Security breach, breach at gate 3. three. Intruder, Intruder has been located, located in the north, north quadrant and is, and is moving in the direction, in the direction of the underground, underground base. base. All, All units, units prepare to engage. engage. Emergency, Emergency battle, battle formations. formations. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures, procedures initiated. Locate, Locate and, and stop, stop the intruder from entering, entering the security area. area. This, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. Repeat, Repeat, this, this is, is not, not a drill. drill. <laughs> that was all tedious. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. Nah, bro, Eggman is different. Just breaking into a military base. We are starting the Dark Side story with Iron Gate and Eggman level. And this is the first time Eggman's been playable in a main game, and I think that's pretty cool. Man, get this freaking gate out of the way. No can't contain me. I'm Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotic. I take what I want when I want. Yeah, we know how the mech shooting levels work. We play this Tails. Oh, I missed the golden beetle. Dang it. Really hope that doesn't cost me the A rank. I do like Iron Gate better than Prison Lane, I'm not gonna lie. Not just because of the novelty that I'm playing as Eggman in a Sonic game, but I just like the level design better. Oh yeah, going fast is the goal, Egg Boy. You know, actually in this game, you can play as Eggman without his walk in the Chow Garden. His base speed is actually faster than Sonic, which is crazy. Don't even think about shooting me. I got shot way too many times in Eternal Engine last time. Are you- See? You see what happens? I'm t over here running my mouth. And of course, this guy survives. You can actually run through these gates before they close. Let me see if I can- well, Actually, I don't want to try to do it in this room. Because if I do, I'll miss out on those bonus points. But this part is so cool. So you run over here to trigger all of these gates. But for some reason, <laughs> Gun just have a missile here. Perfectly aligned up so it can blow open those gates. And we just waltz on through, because why not? We are Eggman. Mmm, those 20,000 points are looking juicy, and they are juicy enough a rank to start off the dark story. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. so kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. This is Scorp And we start off playing as Shadow in a boss battle. Another Metal Gear, they just have these lying around. Plays, uh, plays very similarly to the Sonic one. Except this guy has an additional attack. Can he land? I think he can. We fight one as Rouge later on, and I think that one can't land. Oh my gosh, land on the crate! Yeah, he has this giant cannon that he can just charge up. We're not gonna get hit by that. Oh, he shot me in midair! I'm choking, I'm choking. Get out of here. Yes, sir! Destroying that guard robot was spectacular! So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room 
on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Me? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. This is not Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Not if I can help it. What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's not. I'm going to look once I get back to the face. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. Now we move on to Rouge's first level, and yeah, that cutscene was just the Knuckles one with Rouge's music playing over it. With Dry Lagoon a little bit more interesting than Wild Canyon, we have this turtle being held at gunpoint. Why are these gun robots holding up this turtle? Who knows, but we actually need to free it so we can move on to the second area of this level. But before we do, let me just make sure the emerald's on this side. It is, see? Always pace a check. I like Rouge's music, it has a nice jazz sound to it. Oh, Emerald's over here. Is it in you? Uh, Rouge, can you- There we go. Wait, there's an Emerald up here. <laughs> Thank you. That means the last Emerald has to be in the second area. It's really close. Is it in the cage? It is not, all right. Oh, it's right here. Well, that was easy. That was obviously an A rank. I got perfects on every single one. 17k. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Sand Ocean. My least favorite Eggman level to play on the first round. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of this one's here first. Then get it. This one's my least favorite because unlike Tails playing hidden base, we don't have our hover power up. Okay, I missed that on a combo there. Let me restart so I can get it. So if you fall in this quicksand, it is instant death, and we cannot hover over it. See, look at me, bro. Already fall in the quicksand. Look, I'm just impatient. Blow up these dynamite packs on these pillars to knock them down. Yo, Eggman, you'd think you'd have some sort of, like, fast travel to get back to your base. And how did you fumble the bag and let the military find it? Like, I know you don't care. But still, you should protect your base. Plus, I don't know, Gun should have definitely sent, like, one of those Metal Gears to come here. I guess they might be saying they're robots for reconnaissance? But if they're not, we should definitely send, like, an all-out assault. Just nuke Eggman's base if you know where it is. Like, he's Dr. Eggman, without a doubt the most dangerous man on the planet. Yeah, he's goofy at times. Wait, Gold Beetle, thank you. Yeah, he's goofy at times, but still. To your regular, everyday citizen, this man is a big threat. He blows up an entire island! Blows up half the moon, threatens to blow up the planet? Like, this man is on demon time 24-7. Honestly, if I end up dying, I'm not even gonna restart the level. And why would Eggman even be in his walker? He was in the Eggmobile earlier! Why didn't he just stay in that? Kind of a similar thing with some of Tails' levels. Why didn't he just fly in his plane? Like, I know the gameplay reason-wise, because we don't have any flying sections. But story-wise, he definitely should have hopped into his plane, and Eggman should definitely hop in his Eggmobile. Thank you for the bonus points. I appreciate you all very, very much. Whoa! Let me see if I can get all these dynamite packs. I believe I did. No, I missed. Nope, I got all of them. Okay, good. Got a nice little walkway here. This is the final part of the level. Look at all these statues here with just Eggman's face on it. You'll love to see it. Just like you love to see this A rank! What? A C rank? That's the first C rank we've gotten all playthrough! With the Chaos Emerald. 
in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen was emerald? the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. <laughs> How pathetic. Find them before they escape! Maria! What? Shadow, I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me. For all the people on that planet. Sayonara. Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you. Revenge! Now we have Shadow's motivations, and we're on to his first actual level, Radical Highway. You know, Shadow has the least amount of levels in this game. I'm pretty sure he only has four. Four levels for the brand new character. But I really do like this one. I guess the parallel here would be City Escape? I mean, that's the same aesthetic, and takes place probably on the same highway as Mission Street for Tales. And okay, here, over here, we can get a power-up. We're supposed to wait till we get the light shoes, but we can just spin dash jump, come up here, and get the flame ring for Shadow. I mean, I do like playing as Sonic more because he has the bounce bracelet, but I, I don't know, in this game, I just like Shadow's aesthetics more. His character model looks better. We're all playing hide and seek over here? Whoa! That was close. Give. Me. Them. Points. No! I missed that one. Hit this ramp. Yes, sir. If I can chain this all the way. Yep. Oh, what? That's filthy. No, we're not taking that spring. We're hitting this, and we're hitting this spring. Why? Because we can, because we have the flame ring. See? Look, big! He's on the blimp! Look at him! He's hanging on! How did he get up there? The world may never know. And Radical Highway's music slaps! Okay, I'll stop talking about all the music in this game that slaps. No, no, no. I'm taking that upper path. Don't play with me. Thank you. Do you get bonus points on hitting this rail? I don't know. We do. Don't fall off, because I don't want to take the lower path. I like this path better. This guy's gonna electrify his shield. Yeah, yeah. We gotta wait. And wait, wait, there we go. Gold beetle up here on top of this bridge. Of course, we have that sick grind rail section. I jumped off too early. That sucks. Missed on some bonus points. I'm still mad about that C rank. How did I get a C rank? Like, I know that level's the worst one to play the first time around, but still, C rank worthy? Now, what's better, Radical Highway or the Radical Highway Cyberspace level in Sonic Frontiers? I'm gonna say Radical Highway because I like this aesthetic more than the one in Frontiers, even though I forgot which one it took. Watch out for this enemy coming down, trying to sneak you right at the end. And yes, they did put that in Frontiers. 14,000? Yes, A rank! Thank you very much. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Wow! 
He's fast! Hey, it's not his speed! He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp! I'm Shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell! Good! Shadow! What is he? Well, that's where we're getting off this episode, so if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get notified whenever I upload. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Help me get there. So yeah, that's all. Bye, guys.